Yo, so you read the title. We finally achieved it. We're really behind on everybody else. We've, but we finally got diamond on the SMGs. That's the diamond AK-74. That was the last one I had to get done. So I only have diamond on some machine guns now and shotguns. So now I'm probably going to head over to either assault rifles or LMGs. LMGs only because they're kind of quick, I think. There's th only three of them. Yeah, so you need three LMGs to get them diamond. Okay, but I made my first gun I got was the MP5. I got the Bullfrog and then Milano, and I was so close for the AK-74 and the KSP. So I was like, let's just let's just get them both done and put it into a you know put it into a diamond video. Out of all these guns that I've used, besides the Mac-10, because the Mac-10 you do not need to get gold in order to get the guns diamond. All of these guns here, I would say. My favorite SMG was the KSP. I was so skeptical about this gun. I was saying to myself, I'm not going to like it. It's a three-round burst submachine gun. I just don't like three-round burst guns. And so far, it has been my best KD for the gun. But this has been my favorite gun. I got this done, gun done relatively quick. It was all... It was really fun to use this. I'm not going to lie. My favorite gun at the time was the Bullfrog. Bullfrog's still pretty good. It's pretty... You know, it's just the Bison. And I like the AK-74 because I used it mostly in zombies. And, you know, I got this done first, so I didn't even look at it. I haven't touched this gun since, so I was so shocked with the ksp being my favorite one like i said for all of these pretty much it was pretty much the hard not hardest but the longest thing to do was long shots now the nuketown 24 7 seems to be like a permanent mode not really permanent but most of the time it's going to be there it's a lot it's very easy to get long shots when you hang out on the side of the map or the middle windows so it was kind of easy if you just head into hardcore a couple games get it done everything else pretty much came naturally getting these done i had you know a long shot class and then a regular class so i'll show you each for these guns i had it for two for the ksp and two for the ak-74 the AK-74, my normal class, I won the Spetsnaz Compensator, the 10.3 Task Force. Magazine was the 50-round Fast Mag. Handle was the Spetsnaz Field Grip and no stock. That's how it looks with Diamond. And then for the Long Shot class, only I use this for Long Shots on Hardcore. So I had the SUA, SUSAT Multi-Zoom. Muzzle was the Spetsnaz Compensator. 10.3 Task Force. Under Barrel is the Spetsnaz Grip and the 50-round Mag. That's how it looks like with Gold. And that's how it looks Diamond. Diamond is my favorite one so far. And that's how it looks like with Dark Matter. For the KSP, my normal class, I run the Flash Guard .45 APC, 8.9 Extended, Front Grip, Field Tape, and Duster Stock. I felt like the magazine, I didn't need to increase. Gold, Diamond, Dark Matter. But that's how it looks like with Diamond. Looks absolutely sick. For the long shots, I would SUSAT, Multi-Zoom, 10.2 Rifle, Bruiser Grip, Salvo 48 Round, Speed Mag, and Field Tape. And that's how it looks. That's how the Milano looks. Diamond. That's how the MP5 looks. Diamond. And this is how it looks on the bullfrog diamond it's just like it's so glittery it's so cool i don't know it's probably my favorite Ugh, it's tough it's between that diamond zombies diamond or zombies dark ether i think dark ether might be my favorite camo in the game i'm gonna work on dark matter and multiplayer and then i'm gonna eventually head over to zombies and get those done but we are late to the party like i said before we, this is only our second set of guns that we got diamond a lot of people pretty much have it by now oh man it looks so yo it's so clean Let's switch to the AK. Yo, it just looks so clean, yo. The Milano. I think the Milano looks so nice. Holy shit. All right, we're going to use the KSP, though, and a little bit of the AK. So pretty much there's really no strat I had for these, like, in terms of, like, getting just point blanks and whatever done. I mean, you got to run up to the guy and get the point blanks. It's as simple as that. The only real strategy I had for long shots, and I felt like the most effective to get long shots was hanging out right here and hitting this spawn over there. Obviously, with a big, with a longer, with a zoom scope or something. And also playing hardcore for that. Other than that, everything else I felt came naturally. What? Come on. Goodbye. You guys gotta let me know down in the comments what you're up to for this Dark Matter grind. Whether you're up to some certain gun or if you just finished it. Let me know where you're at. Let me know if you're also way behind the game like me. I took the bullet for you! Oh my god, I love this. This gun kind of reminds me of the Damon in Black Ops 4. It was like a three-round burst submachine gun. And I remember in, in it, Black Ops 4 it was so dominant. I ain't playing like it's dominant though. Peace. The challenge is where there's thunder blind uh, or detected by a spy plane or field mic. Best thing to do is put on a spy plane and the field mic. And I never even use, I usually always have stims, so I didn't even use any of the flashbangs or anything like that. You just really need sp spy planes or field mics, and pretty much those come with just, with just playing. Peace. Yeah, I want to look at all of them just in game real quick. We'll do a quick weapon inspect just to see how they all look. All right, so first off, this is diamond on the MP5, diamond on the AK. Oh my god. Diamond on the KSP. Oh my god, it's so blinding on there. 
Diamond on the Bullfrog. And Diamond on the Milano. It all, it all just looks so fire. Another strat for just ranking up the weapons, not even going for the challenges. Now that we kind of in that battle pass, we got the battle pass. There's a lot of uh, double XP and double weapon XP tokens that are available. I would hop on the double weapon XP tokens because it does take a little bit amount of time to rank up these weapons. Funny part is you don't even need to max out the weapons in order to get diamond on the gun or gold on the on the one specific gun. So it just, I think it go, every gun goes up to like level 55, I think. At least for the SMGs, every gun goes up to level 55. But you get the final uh, camo uh, challenge to unlock at level 50. So hop on a double weapon XP week or double weapon or just hop on some double wep weapon XP token. You get the battle pass. I think there's a couple free in the battle pass or if you want to buy the battle pass or if you want to buy a bag of Doritos, I think they have that too. But, see, like I said, you just naturally get like if you have the spy planes up, you just naturally get them. You call them in, get a couple kills at a time and a couple games you get it done. Ooh! Point blank. Point blanks were actually the last ones I think I needed for pretty much all the guns. Oh, I didn't even see you. Pretty much no complaints for these guns. Like I said, SMGs were fun to use. I had no complaints. I mean, just look at that diamond drip. I'm trying to do something. Just look at that diamond drip. God. God. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, man. That stupid thing. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello there. Peace. Oh, you would have been done too. Anyway, let me know what you think of Diamond Camel. Let me know what is your favorite Mastery Camel, whether it's Gold, Diamond, or Dark Matter. Me, it's Diamond right now. But if we're going to go from Zombies and Multiplayer, I would say the Dark Matter Ether, I think it is. But Diamond is now done on SMGs and Shotguns. Probably going to move on to LMGs or Assault Rifles. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you all on the next one. Peace.